Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. I am here today to talk to you about a new initiative that a New Jersey school, Glen Ridge High School, is implementing. And that initiative is that they are canceling midterm and final exams. Now, their intent is to provide more instructional time for state assessments. I don't disagree with canceling the midterm and final exams, but I do disagree with the process. And before I get into that, I just want to want to talk a little bit about how counseling midterm and final exams can damage the students. First of all, midterm and final exams help to prepare students for college. And it helps them to prepare students for college because that's what the colleges do. So it may damage the students in that respect. It may damage their college entrance possibilities because when colleges start looking at students, they look at SAT scores and, G and their GPA. And they may actually frown upon schools who are not providing students with the rigor that is associated with midterm and final exams. Now, for teachers, you may find some challenges with grading because usually the midterm and the final give the student an opportunity to improve. But how are you going to determine the midpoint for them? So it may have some challenges, and then you may get into some confrontation with, with parents in regards to um, the midterm and final exam because it no longer exists. You're going to have to do some creative things, such as um, notify them if their progress is not up to date. And then finally, um, you know, on the other hand, you know, I know teachers have to be excited because now they don't have to prepare for a final or midterm exam. They can take their planning periods and they could do something completely different, like go to lunch more often or maybe even watch a little more TV. Now, this is what I recommend before. And, and this is a fallacy that many school districts have. Before you put a process in place like that, pilot the process, test it out and then work out all the kinks. And so for this Glen Ridge High School, what I recommend is first you choose a pilot group. And since this is the first year of testing for ninth graders, I would choose ninth graders. And then I would choose a very small select teachers to participate in the pilot group, implement a shared vision development process. So that becomes the guide for your initiative, develop a strategic plan over nine months, and then finalize it by a culminating activity where the teachers who were involved, they share the strategic plan, they share the kinks, and they share the benefits. And so this is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this on my blog at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. You can also call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Thank you very much and have a great day.